Sincerity works. Tone of voice helps. The words you use make a difference. Those are some of the ingredients that I'm talking to some of my leaders about uh, getting feedback. Like getting, one, one of the things that I was talking about yesterday is like we're not, as a, as a culture, you know, people that are jackasses are great at giving feedback. But people that are nice, a lot of you guys and a lot of your clients are not great at giving feedback because you're nice. And so I've, I've been talking to some guys about this. I'm talking to our staff about this, of, of like how you ask, you know, hey, Jerry, thanks for the opportunity to do your shower glass. Uh, I, re- I really appreciate it. And it would be really helpful if you would like give me one or two things that you think that I could do better. You know, or or maybe Jerry with the the um, with the guys that came over and laser templated, or the guys that came to do the install. Can you think of like one or two, like very simple? Maybe they're big things. Maybe they're small things that we could do better. That if if we did those things better, your experience would have been that much better. Can you think of one or two things, Jerry? It would be really helpful to me. I think using that tone of voice using some of the words um i think i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be hard for people not to give you something and so it's like like what can we do to be tactical and intentional to try to get feedback and and remember that feedback is a gift if you know i remember paul bauscher saying to me years ago as i was asking him a similar question he's like you know what you jerry one of the things that could help but you can't do is shorten your lead time and I said, well, what do you mean? What's, what would be, you know, a great lead time? And I, I don't know what our lead time was back there, 10 days, 14 days or whatever. But he was like, you know, five days. If you could do like a five-day turnaround time, that would be amazing. And so I went back to my guys and I said, can we do a five-day turnaround? Like, is that even possible? And fast forward, it's like, that is possible. And so it's not standard operating procedures, but it's possible. And that was predicated on just trying to get some authentic feedback. So what else might we be able to learn if we actually ask clients for great feedback? You know, and this works in relationships as well. Red Barber, a buddy of mine was talking about like doing check-ins with friends like me as well as a spouse to say, hey, you know, how are we doing? Like, how's our, how's our relationship? Is there anything, any blind spots that I have? So I, th- I think, you know, having that rhythm of asking for feedback, again, tone of voice, voice inflection, the words that you use, the sincerity, like those are all ingredients that'll really help to get feedback. You can't guarantee that people are going to give you feedback, but that's stacking the deck in our favor.